Elon Musk, the world's richest person, has terminated his $44 billion deal to buy Twitter. Musk ended the deal, citing breach and merger agreement by Twitter. Twitter shares fell 6% in extended trading after he announced he would terminate the deal. Twitter says it will sue Elon Musk to complete the $44 billion merger he rejected. Musk has clinched a deal for Twitter in April, but, when, but then he put it on hold until the company proved that spam bots accounted for less than 5% of its total users. Musk likely faces a protracted legal tussle with Twitter. The terms of the, real, the deal require him to pay $1 billion breakup fee if he does not complete the transaction. Our technology editor Ayush Alawadi is now getting us more details on that story. Ayush, take us through what exactly has Elon Musk particularly been upset about as far as Twitter's own revelations to Musk is concerned. What has he flagged off essentially and what really proved to be the deal breaker? Yeah, all of this happened in a regulatory filing. Elon's uh, lawyers actually... Uh, mentioned that there are a bunch of things for which, a bunch of reasons for which he's actually pulling out of the deal. Firstly, it is the fact that they haven't been able to prove, according to him, to his satisfaction, that five percent, uh, that you know, less than five percent of the users, general users on Twitter, are bots. Now, that's something which he thinks is a material adverse event, which could actually lead to a breach of contract. Which is why. We, you know, the headlines are saying he's pulling out of the deal. But this is a long and protracted affair because any sort of conflict arising from this contract between Twitter and him uh, would end up going to the Delaware Court of Chancery. Now, the Delaware Court usually looks at merger and acquisition uh, battles and controversies like this, and they don't uh, usually look at it with a very reasonable, they look at it with a very reasonable sort of glance, and they do consider these things. And they've only ruled once before in such a scenario where they have spoken about a material adverse event. I don't know if this would actually constitute a material adverse event in, in the coming days. The lawyers will tell us about that, obviously. Also, the fact that a, a lot of the things that, that Twitter did in terms of firing a lot of their staff, that's something which he thinks is really deviating from the natural course of business, which is also something he is not uh, very pleased with. And he says that that's also a material adverse change. Now, another thing that we must mention is that after uh, all of this happened uh, a few hours ago, the Twitter board chairman also, um, he also tweeted out saying the Twitter board is committed to closing the transaction on the price and the terms agreed upon with Mr. Musk and plans to pursue legal action to enforce the merger agreement. And we are confident we will prevail in the Delaware Court of Chancery. So this is going to be a long protracted battle. Yes, you also mentioned the breakup fee, which is a billion dollars. That's, uh, that's a very, uh, it's, a, it's quite a generous amount. So yes. that's going to be an interesting thing to see also what kind of punitive damages are announced in this case and, and exactly how the court rules. But obviously this is going to be interesting because a lot of Twitter users and Twitter employees have also been tweeting saying, what does this mean yes. for the purchase price? This is going to be a long protracted affair and eventually the, the purchase price will take yet another beating. Well, uh, only time will tell, Sneha. Well, absolutely. But uh, what we know for certain is that this is going to be a long drawn battle. Twitter has said that they are in fact taking must to court. Ayush, thanks for the moment.